Hello fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. Today we're in the heart of Germany, in Fredericksburg, Texas. And, and seeing all this Texas and Germany together, it got me thinking about our German friends that come to the US and, and what really kind of irks them when they're here. When do they say, ah, fed dumps? Well, today we have our things that upset German tourists when they come to the US. And I've heard this from my German friends, from numerous tourists that have come here over the years, and our fans online have given us all the things that the Germans just get a little upset with when they come to the US. And, and like any good video, we, like any good day, we should start with a good healthy breakfast. And that is the first thing that pisses off Germans when they come to the US, is the fact that for breakfast, there's no cold cuts or cheese slices with their rolls. I cannot tell you how many hoteliers around the U.S. have told me that they've had a number of German tourists come in in the morning and be like, Wo ist die Schinken? Where, where, where's the ham? Where's the cheese? The Käse? Where's the ham and cheese? Because that's breakfast in Germany is ham and cheese slices and you have it on bread and there you go. Whereas in the U.S. we're about bacon, eggs, waffles, pancakes, sweet stuff. It's not the same thing. So the Germans, you know, give them a break in the morning. They're not getting their cold cuts. So that can kind of upset them to start their day. And so after breakfast, you go out and explore the city. And the next thing that gets the Germans when they go around is, why is it everyone asks, how's it going? How you doing? But when I tell them my answer that, you know what, I don't feel so good. Oh, I'm kind of full. Oh, I'm doing good. okay. Like they don't care. Like, why do you ask me, how's it going? And how are you if you don't care? Because in Germany, if someone asks you, wie geht's dir? It means, how's it going? How are you doing? You tell them, oh, it's getting me a schlecht. I don't feel so good. Ah, oh, yeah, say, so give me a good. It's going well. I feel good. But you tell people this. In the U.S., we don't do that. It's just, hey, how are you? How are you? We walk away. That's why the correct answer to how are you is there's three correct answers. How are you? Ah, how are you? And you walk on. How are you? Ah, good. And you walk on. And then, how are you? Ah, fine. And you walk on. Those are the only answers. So my German friends just know that don't be upset. That's just our way of saying hi. It's kind of like when you're south of Germany when they say, Grüß Gott. You say, Grüß Gott. Greetings to God. Greetings to God. And you move on with your day. Now, the next thing that gets Germans when they're here, that they're like, what, what is wrong with you people? Germans are like, what's with Americans fetishes with watching people go to the bathroom? Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, when you go to the bathroom in the stall, you know there's like that two foot gap or like 50 centimeters, 60 centimeter gap at the bottom where you can see people's feet and their clothes and stuff. Yeah, there's that, but also in the side, have you noticed when you sit down and go to the bathroom, you can actually see people outside and you can watch them watch you watching them doing your business. Ooh, gross. And, and for Germans, sometimes it can be a little tough because they like their, their privacy. It's privat, right? And so if you go to Germany, well, the, the doors close all the way. There's no cracks. There's no nothing. There's a little thing. It's red. It means somebody's in there, okay? So that's another thing that kind of gets them when they're here. Now, another thing that gets Germans when they're here in the U.S. is the over-the-top service. I mean, I dated a German girl for a number of years. She's like, why don't they let me just go in the store and look at stuff? Why is I walk in the store and like, can I help you? What do you need? Can I help you with something? Do you need your size? What size are you? It's like, hey, calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's just, all this is good, all this is good. Bleib locher, you're like, chill out, you know? In the US, they have this over the top service stuff that in Germany, you have professional service. You need help, you say, excuse me, could you help me? And they come help you and they know everything. Whereas in the US, it's kind of over the top. So it's kind of hard for the Germans with that over the top service, but not just if you're going shopping, but also at the restaurants, you know? I mean, I've had a number of times our German friends are like, hey, could, could, could I at least get time to look at the menu before you ask me to order? I mean, calm down. And, and, and you know what? Another thing that gets the Germans, they're like, look, I'm trying to have a conversation with my friend at dinner and the server comes up every two minutes. I'm like, look, I'm good. Thank you for the another refill, but I still have half a liter of Coke left in my glass. Thank you. But hey, you know, chill out. So that is one of the things that does get Germans is the over the top, you know, service in the US. And I think a thing that goes along with that is when you're out to eat, another thing that gets the Germans is, uh, why do I have to tip 15 to 20% at a sit down restaurant? If they want to have good service, they should pay their people better. And, and I've had a lot of comments about this over the years about German tourists really getting a bad rap for being really bad tourists in the US. Like I've talked to a number of servers who are like, yeah, when a German group comes in, we're like nine, danke. They're like, no thanks, uh, because they're notorious for not tipping the 15 to 20%. So just something to know about. And that's why Germans sometimes like, what's with the tipping? What's with the, well, the high tipping I'm supposed to do here? And speaking Speaking of tipping and paying, another thing that gets the Germans is, why won't you take my money? In Germany, they like to pay in cash, in big bills. And when German tourists come to the US, they bring their cash and they're like, why do I have to pay with credit card everywhere? I mean, I've got 50s and 100s and most places won't even take 50s or 100s. 
Unfortunately, my German friends here in the US, it is a credit card country and they really like shy away from the cash. You'll go to gas station like, ah, we don't carry 100, we don't take 100s, we don't take 50s. And that can be something that's tough for German tourists because they're so used to having cash. And credit cards are not really a big thing in Germany. Like you might have one, whereas in the US you might have, you know, 10, you know, so it's a different vibe. Now, the next thing I think I should talk about is one that my, the German girl dated for a long time. She always asked me about this. And, and my German friends like, what's up with this? Is they get upset when you mispronounce German words like Aldi. Aldi is just Aldi. There is no S at the end. It's not Aldi's, it's Aldi. Okay, so just know that. Now, Fafignogen, that's not something Germans actually say. So if you tell them that, you're like, dude, uh, we don't we don't say that, right? No, not nine dank have you. Wir sagen das nicht, okay? We don't say that. Now, Gesundheit, yes, Gesundheit, they do say that in Germany. They, 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 they do say that. And we do a good job here in the US with that. But in general, Germans are sometimes like, man, you're really off on those names and, and those words. So uh, that's not necessarily German. And the last thing that gets the Germans when they come to the US is what's with overfilling everything? Look, you go to Germany in the toilets, there's very little water there, but you come to the US, it's like there's a bathtub, you go to the bathroom and you're like, wait, am I supposed to climb in this thing or, or go to the bathroom and I verstehe das nicht. Was machen wir hier? For the Germans, all that water is a little bit wasteful, but also you might see that when it comes to overflowing things, um, they're also kind of confused is, I ordered a soda without ice. Why do I have a cup of ice with a splash of soda? Look, Germans aren't big on the ice, and so when they come here and they get the you know sweet tea that's all ice and filled with tea, sometimes like what what was this das? Verdammt, ich will ich will sweet tea nicht ice. Was ist das? Sometimes you have those things happen, and Germans are like, look, lay it low on the ice, please, because we like a few cubes, not a whole cup, with our soda but they are happy to get those free refills, so there is that. So, I think it's just a few little things I've seen German tourists get a little bit upset with during their time here. Now look, none of them are really bad. It's a fun thing to do. We love the German tourists when they come to the US. I know I love living in Germany and I've loved taking my German friends around the US, whether it's here in Texas, Illinois, New Orleans, New York, all over the country. It's a great place. So if you're German, willkommen. If you're not German, welcome to the US and have a great time. And be nice to those German tourists. They're good people. Bye from here in Texas.